Well, we are just hours away from the biggest product launch since the original iPhone five years ago. Tri-State Apple fans are huddled outside AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint stores across the Tri-State, hoping to get their hands on a new iPhone 5 when it goes on sale tomorrow morning. We found these campers outside the AT&T store in Florence. We saw Verizon employees in Kenwood unpacking boxes of the new phone. And John Mattery's got to check it out this evening. He tells us the larger screen really makes a difference. But there are some criticisms of the new phone you may want to know about so you don't waste your money. The release of the brand new iPhone 5, Apple's biggest product launch since its original iPhone, is already being overshadowed a bit by controversy and criticism over its new mapping system. With its larger screen and faster 4G service, 10 million iPhone 5s are expected to sell in the first couple of weeks. But critics are already finding one big flaw, the new Apple Maps that replaces Google Maps in Apple's new operating system, iOS 6. Fox News calls Apple Maps awful, saying it's a flop. The Huffington Post is more specific, pointing out some of the hilarious errors it makes, among them showing out-of-business chains like Woolworths, not showing any towns or cities in some countries like the Falklands, and showing airfield farms as an airport which could cause a pilot to land in a field of cows. That's not so hilarious. Apple has removed the Google Maps app along with the YouTube app because it now considers Google a competitor, not a partner. But critics say Apple needs to fix this soon so you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris, 9 News.